Well, welcome back to balmy Northwest Ohio, January 26th, it's 50 degrees out. Got something I want to show you, I've been working on for over a year, and it's called a rocket stove. And I have videos that I'll probably put up a series of videos of this build but it's kind of unique and if you don't know what a rocket stove is look it up on YouTube and you will see the qualities that it has what I took was a hot water tank that no longer worked I took the outside of it off and that's the tank that was in it I can't even remember how big it was, but anyway, and then there's a, I took fire brick and angle iron and made a frame, and then there's like a burn chamber that goes down, and then there's a chimney that goes up inside of it, and then it allows the smoke to come off, and it goes out there, but if you look, well, you can't see because I can't see any smoke. There's no smoke. This chimney, chimney, chimney is just galvanized ductwork. So it's not made for heat, but you don't have to worry because if you look at it right there, well, there it's starting to get warmer. It's up to 120 degrees. 125 somewhere there you go 130 so it is starting to get warmer before it was 70 80 degrees but if you look at the tank this is where you want your heat Oops, I'm not got in the and yet yeah, you're looking at 400 the top of it is about four you can see I had a 419 there for a high But, uh, yeah, this is the first burn I got out of it. And like I said, this is all fire brick. The fire brick actually gets pretty warm, which is good because it retains the heat. And if you come around to the front of it here, this is where we get some serious heat down through here, which really isn't supposed to. You know, you look at your 620 up there. I mean, it doesn't hurt it, I guess, but, and this is the, now let me just show you what it's, what a rocket stove is supposed to look like and sound like. Let me get a glove on here, because it's hot. This plate is hot. I'm not done with it yet. I've got to mount this plate, so I'm going to put a couple hinges on it so that I can flip it back and then put a little, uh, screw type damper on it to, so that I can raise and lower it. But anyway, if you look in there you can see that fire pulling through. That is what you want. That is called the rocket effect. And all I'm using are little pieces of, of wood. I took a Oh, a quarter log and split it up into a bunch of little pieces and you just stick it in there. And the whole idea of it is, is it doesn't burn a whole lot of wood. And you can use little pieces like branches and things of that sort to be able to burn with. And the key is, is to be able to get the, uh, you know, the heat off of it. And this tank is where all the heat is supposed to be generated. And um, again, let me see if I can do this here without dropping the camera. I'll show you what the bottom of it is here now. Because this, as I mentioned, that heat tube goes all the way inside there and it goes up. So let's see what it's doing here. Get it on Fahrenheit.
See that bottom's not that awfully hot. You're looking at what, 244. You get up in here, and uh, yeah, you're up to 270, 280. But you want this tank to radiate the heat. That is the whole idea behind the rocket stove. And uh, what I'm hoping to do is be able to get the top of this thing up to uh, 500. And, uh, but you can see it's, it's heating it up pretty good. Got it right there in the camera. I don't think you can see that little red dot out there. But uh, anyway, just thought I'd make a video of this to show everybody. This is one of the projects that I've been playing with for, like I said, close to a year and a half. Started last summer, I guess. It wasn't a year and a half, about a year. And, uh, oh, I don't know. I just couldn't get it to burn. Couldn't get anything to draw. And what I did yesterday is I made this little damper here and I drilled all these holes in this plate to give it the uh, the draft that it needs to go through and then I can always choke that down if it ever got burning too hot or if I want to slow it fire down but uh, yeah I'll show you where I want to put it this is gonna go over here it's got lots of room since I get the two snowmobiles out. I put those in the trailer and uh, right back in here, because right up above is my furnace. And what I'd like to do is to take and that, tie that pipe into that uh, exhaust for the furnace. And to be able to put an elbow up in there. And, um, and then what I want to do is put an, a damper between where the pipe goes in and the furnace so that when... You uh, run it, you know, that doesn't suck back into my shop. It'll go out and up outside. But anyway, that's kind of the plan. I'm going to see how that works. I just wanted to get this thing to burn. And I, as I mentioned, drilled those holes, and today I added another piece of pipe on it. And I think the combination of the two really made it start working. So. Anyway, thanks for watching.